four-wheel drive utility vehicle was originally designed for the Army. During World War II, this American-made Jeep quickly earned its stripes, plowing through mud and muck on the way. Today's SUVs are modern versions, because popping to the shops is often quite a battle. When the road ahead is rough, or even if it disappears entirely, a vehicle like this keeps on going. Production begins with the frame, which is made of thick steel rails. A worker welds brackets to it for attaching parts. This one is for a shock absorber's nitrogen tank. He attaches a link for the sway bar and suspension arms. He then welds thick braces to the front of the chassis. He measures the space between them to confirm there's adequate clearance. And then fits heavy duty calipers over the brake discs that are installed at the front. The front brakes use a six piston system for extra stopping power. He now fits the shock absorbers to the front axle and bolts them to the braces we saw welded to the chassis earlier. This is just the start of the installation. The parts will be tightened more precisely later. It's time to give the vehicle some wheels. They're positioned on threaded bolts protruding from the axles and then secured with lug nuts. The tires have a deep tread for off-road traction. This chassis is now ready. The team wheel the chassis under the eight-cylinder drivetrain and carefully lower it into position. This powerful engine will generate a lot of heat, so a large capacity radiator is needed to keep it cool and prevent damage to the engine. Once the steel chassis has been coated with a protective finish and the fuel system has been installed, production moves to the next stage, piecing together the body. This pre-assembly will ensure all the aluminium parts fit together flawlessly. After this, the vehicle will be taken apart for painting and then put together again. The doors are fixed to the body with thick steel pins that withstand wear and tear and make the assembly easy. A worker attaches each window frame to the lower door panel and checks that they fit. He confirms that the parts align and that the door latch works. Then, steel roll bars are bolted to the body. Once they're satisfied that the framework meets all the specifications, they'll take it apart. Next is the powder coating. The powder is ionically charged, so it gravitates to the negatively charged parts as it's sprayed. Once baked in an oven, the coating forms a skin that's tougher than conventional paint. They also coat the underside of the lower parts with a heat-cured finish to reduce wear and to muffle vibration. They now piece together the lower body and fit the dashboard and the instrument panel to the front. They bolt the seats to the floor. Once all the parts are put together, they lower the assembly onto the chassis. By now, the chassis has been completely wired. The parts fit perfectly. It takes about 250 person hours to build one of these. We've just shown the highlights. When it's complete, they test everything from the sensor activated step to the windscreen wipers. Once all the systems are operational, it's ready to hit the road, or drive along it at least. High off the ground with four-wheel drive, this vehicle is equipped for whatever lies ahead, which will probably be the school run, followed by a supermarket or two, and then lunch, darling.